first vaginal birth I ever witnessed um, when the baby's head came out, I was pretty sure that I was about to faint. That I had been standing up, holding the leg, and I had to sit down and start breathing deeply and talking myself away from fainting. And of course, immediately I thought, I am going to be the worst doula ever. So if you're wondering how a computer programmer turns out to be a doula and a childbirth educator making videos on YouTube, then you're in the right place because today I'm going to be sharing my story and my promise to you is that I'm not going to sugarcoat it, that if there were bumps and challenges along the way, I'm going to be super honest with you about them. If we haven't met before, my name is Alice Turner. I am a birth doula, a Lamont certified childbirth educator with an engineering degree. And on this channel, I make videos about birth. It's a life-changing experience and I want you to be ready for it. Now this video is a little bit different because I am sharing my personal journey to where I am right now and giving a little background into the origin of this channel and why I do what I do. So if that is interesting to you, buckle up and grab some tea and let's go. Now I chose my Nashville cup today because I would say my story probably starts in Nashville and in Nashville is where I developed a love of the healthcare profession. Uh, I attended Vanderbilt University and received a degree in biomedical engineering and computer science minor, and I worked in the anesthesiology department there. I loved my work there at the hospital. I was so proud to wear my hospital badge and have a work study job at the hospital. It was a great experience. But after graduating, I did not go into doula work. Instead, I went into something called bioinformatics, which means I did databases for healthcare companies. And wait, wait, don't go. I'm not gonna go into the details of database programming. Let's just say that I worked for years in a job that paid the bills, was very steady, but did not feed my soul. And in that time, I also had two children and I had two very different birth experiences. The first one was kind of a typical, I don't know what I'm doing, take the hospital childbirth class experience with an epidural that I wasn't happy about. And the second one, I went deep into natural birthing and hypnobirthing and had a super fast natural childbirth. I'm telling you this because it does lead to a critical part in my story. And that is when I had a friend who needed someone to be with her when she went into labor because her husband had been transferred and he might not make it back in time. And the reason she chose me was because of these two different birth experiences that I had. She said that I was the only one that she knew that had given birth two times and two different ways. And that was enough for her to trust me to know that I could support her if her husband was not going to be back for the birth of her baby. So I jumped on this and I was super excited to be able to help out this friend. I did not know that this was the role of a doula. And just for a little context, I was living in Atlanta at the time and Atlanta didn't really have a ton of doulas and it wasn't super um, known out there of the doula profession. I did as much training as I could and I met with this friend and I tried to find out exactly how I could help her. Um, I had my bag ready to go and I was on call for her. Her husband came back, she went into labor and they didn't call me, which was fine, but I was sad, super sad. I thought I had missed out on my one chance to help somebody out during childbirth. And I just thought, okay, well, I missed out on my one chance. But then in the back of my mind, I kept saying like, I think that this might be a job. I think that people might do this for a living. So sure enough, did a little bit of research and I found out, yeah, people do this for a living. So I went ahead, I signed up for birth doula training. Shout out to my trainer, Ray Davies, who came up from Florida to Atlanta to hold a training. And that is when I hit one of my biggest highs, I would say, up to that date of my professional life. And I fell right over one of my biggest hurdles. So the biggest high was happened, I feel like it was, I call it like a doula awakening, like an, an awakening of a passion that I didn't know I had. And if you were watching this and you're a doula, 
let me know below if you also experienced one of these moments. So here I was, I remember we were on a family vacation with my in-laws in, um, on the coast of Florida and we had a tropical storm come in with uh, two little children and um, a house full of adults that were wanting to be out on the beach but we couldn't be because of the rain and the storm, tropical storm Bonnie. Uh, I remember her well. Well, I had brought my books for my doula training and I could not stop reading these books. And I thought to myself, I've never felt this way before. I've never felt like I just wanted to take in every piece of information that I could find on this topic of childbirth. And I was just like, I mean, just a sponge. And as I was reading, I just had this smile on my face because I was learning so much. I had this feeling that people don't know about their options about birth. And if only people knew that birth could be different than um, stories of the past or stories on TV, that they would feel so much better about their options. And when I read these books, it dawned on me that, yeah, that is the case, that there is so much information that people don't know about childbirth and um, just so many more options out there. So I just was, I mean, my mind was blowing up reading these books. Thankfully, when I shared my uh, doula excitement and my awakening with my husband and my close family, everyone was really excited for me and they could tell that this was something that, that I really wanted to pursue and, and see how it went. So I'm so lucky for that because I know that's not the case for a lot of people that change professions um, so dramatically. However, I did run into some hurdles when I shared it with some friends. Um, and you know, a lot of the concern was concern about um, what would my lifestyle be if I became a birth doula being on call and with kids and how is that going to be? Um, I had people say that um, they couldn't imagine taking such a huge pay cut and would there even be people that would hire me? you know, those kind of concerns. And I know it was just concerns um, for me and, and my future, but they were hurdles that I didn't expect because I feel like if I had said I was going to um, change from being a computer programmer to like a manager at um, a company, I would not have been received with that same kind of negativity, maybe as I did by going into doula work. So that was definitely a hurdle. The next hurdle I faced was when I had to attend a childbirth class as part of this doula training. So I found a childbirth series that met the requirements for my doula certification, talked to the instructor, and she said that I could come along, I'd still have to pay the fee, that was fine. I remember how excited I was to get to that class and I had my pillows that I was supposed to bring and I had a notebook and I was just so excited. You know, of course I had taken a childbirth class with my first and um, read tons of books and everything, but I just wanted to hear what this instructor was gonna say. And I was just thrilled. So I went to the class, I remember I sat over on the edge and I kept really quiet, was just observing. And then um, there was a time when uh, the, the instructor wanted everyone to introduce themselves. And instead of me introducing myself, the instructor said, um, and this is Alice, she is training to be a doula. Um, there aren't many doulas in Atlanta, not people, many people use doulas, but if you have a question for Alice, you, you can ask her. And I was just kind of defeated by her um, introduction of doulas that way. That was, that was pretty much all she said. And um, later on, after the class was over, she asked me like, why was I becoming a doula? Because no one in Atlanta uses doulas. Everyone gets epidurals and no one needs doulas and they're just not popular. So I hope that, you know, she said, I hope Alice that you're not needing this for income or is this just a hobby for you? Because, you know, it's just not gonna work out if that's what you wanna do for a profession. And I could not believe it. I remember I was driving home from that class and I just felt like 
just flattened, you know, just like all the air out of my sails. Here I was so excited about this career and this expert, you know, someone who teaches childbirth education had just basically told me that I should give up. So, okay, I'm calming down. That was, that was not a happy moment. And fast forward, she was wrong. Okay. So I ended up having three clients come out of that class and, um, you know, of course, 15 years later, here I am making a video. So let me just say, if you run into hurdles like that, um, please don't let them stop you. Okay. Back to doula training. I went through training, became certified and, um, started working as a doula. That first year was definitely a trying year. Um, some highs, some lows, some major challenges where I thought to myself, like, am I really meant to do this? So despite these challenges, I could see pretty quickly uh, the role of the doula and the impact that really you can bring to someone's uh, birth experience just by helping them um, with their goals, helping them um, know their options, helping to communicate with staff. And sometimes it's just the littlest things, but they make such a huge difference. And that impact on someone's life is, I mean, it's amazing. And it kind of puts my programming days to shame. Like there, is ne there was never a day when I was pulling data for a report that I felt like I was making a difference in someone's life for the rest of their life. Um, but that's what doula work is pretty much every time. So that being said, my journey to where I am now has had such amazing highs. I have worked with around 300 clients as a doula. Um, so absolutely grateful to be trusted for so many families and many families time and again as they have um, multiple children. Really, that is so special and so incredible and just um, really a blessing and makes the hard times so much easier. And the hard times do come, you know, the, I had two children, um, so I have four, um, two before I became a doula and two after becoming a doula. And being a doula with babies is no joke. It is, I mean, I'm sure many of the challenges like any working mom has, uh, pumping and managing milk supply and, um, you know, just having little ones at home, having to have a whole system of babysitters and uh, people to, you know, manage the life of your children while you're gone. And the hardest part being that you don't know how long you're going to be gone when you're a doula. Are you going to be gone for five hours or 15 or 25? So those are definitely challenging days. And the income is not necessarily predictable and it's nowhere near my programming job. So, um, you know, after those long births, sometimes if you let yourself figure out what you were making per hour, it's a little, it can be a little defeating. And sometimes I've questioned myself along the way, is this right for my family? Am I giving my family everything they need? Um, or am I just being selfish by really wanting to fulfill my own passion with this work? And there have been family events that I've missed along the way that have been hard. Ah, never thought I was going to cry on this journey. Okay, pull it together, Alice. Being a doula is a weird life and you have to love it, but it's so important work. So if you do love it, um, it's important to keep going. And then really the next step in my career was went from how to reach um, one family at a time through my birth work or a few families a lot at a time through childbirth education to how do I reach more people and how do I also have an option to reach people for free? That's what led me to create the online courses. So um, right now I have an online program for partners to prepare for childbirth called Supporting Her and I'll put a link down below. And I love being able to do that because I can reach people no matter where they are. If they are looking for a way to get ready, especially from the partner's point of view, um, I love that. And that's been really fulfilling and exciting part of my work. And then of course, YouTube is a great platform to reach people that 
I didn't know I'd be able to reach and it's also free, which I love. Um, I love the ability to put out a video and um, hopefully help someone on the other side of the camera. And I actually have two videos next that if you are a doula, check out this one. And if you're preparing for childbirth, check out this one here. And thanks for letting me share my journey with you. See you next time, guys. Talk to you later. Bye. Two daughters um, while doing this type of work. And...